When it comes to AI, I have one simple ground rule. It should not be a replacement for creative pursuits. End of. Or as the author Joanna Macieska put it so brilliantly, I want AI to do my laundry and dishes so that I can do art and writing, not for AI to do my art and writing so that I can do my laundry and dishes. As photographers, one of the most tedious jobs we're stuck with is adding metadata titles, captions, and keywords to photographs so that we can A, find them more easily in our asset management software, and B, upload them to social media, photo sharing sites, or the web. Anything that can simplify, speed up, or completely replace the drudgery of metadata entry is my idea of heaven. I'm not knocking at the pearly gates just yet, outward appearances notwithstanding, but I do have a game-changing AI prompt that's about to make your metadata workflow practically effortless. Before I get accused of dealing in clickbait, here's the TLDR for you doom scrolling zombies with the 10 second attention spans. I have put my finely honed AI title caption and keyword prompts in the description of this video. I share it with you in the spirit of paying it forward. You will need to fine tune it to suit your needs and modify several sections to reflect the part of the world you live in but it's fairly self-explanatory if you just go through it. In its current form, as listed below this video, it can be used with the AnyVision plugin for Lightroom Classic to fully automate the addition of title, keyword, and caption metadata to thousands of photographs in one go. However, you can also tweak it slightly and use it with something like ChatGPT or Claude. If you find it useful and you'd like to thank me, then like this video, subscribe to my channel, or buy one of my most excellent and highly sarcastic t-shirts. Okay, that's the basics. Here's the whole story. A Couple of months ago, I reviewed an updated Lightroom Classic plugin by John R. Ellis called AnyVision. This was previously capable of using Google's Cloud AI to analyze photographs and produce extremely accurate keywords to entire hard drives worth of photographs. Bloody good it was too. But John recently updated the plugin and added the ability to automatically fill in all sorts of additional photographic metadata, such as captions, headlines, alt text, headlines, keywords, descriptions. It can even recognize landmarks, objects, logos, and activities and classify them accordingly. Uh, pretty neat, huh? As cool as this was, I found the text itself, the titles and captions in particular, to be lacking a bit too clinical and wordy for my tastes. They were accurate, sure, but they didn't read very well and were often full of overly effusive language. I tried tweaking the default prompt in the app and did improve it slightly, but I still wasn't super keen on the output. Then, very recently, John updated the AnyVision plugin again, and this was the real game changer that made everything I'm about to explain possible. He added the ability to insert existing metadata, such as location, time, and date, into the prompt, such that Google Gemini has proper context from which to generate titles, captions, and keywords. The difference was amazing. I still wasn't happy with the output I was getting using my modified version of the default prompt. Then, last week, I watched a video by Brian Albert called The Best Chat GPT Prompt I've Ever Created, which I will link to up there. And before you run off and watch it, this is actually quite a meta prompt. It takes a bit of time to wrap your head around it because what Brian's prompt does is instruct an AI to write a good prompt. Yeah, that's right. Not the prompt itself, just instructions to another AI on how to create a really good prompt on a specific subject that gets great results. So, I use the prompt in question to get Claude AI to write a prompt for Google Gemini that writes titles, captions, and keywords. 
Yeah, it's like prompt version of Inception, isn't it? Anyway, I did all the fanning about to get the AI to become a prompt writing expert. And then over the last few days, I've been tuning the resulting master prompt myself until it works just the way I wanted. And I want to walk you through my workflow for the prompt using the AnyVision plugin. And then we'll talk about other use cases. I've selected some photographs I haven't run through the AI yet. And the first thing we need to do is give the image location details. And I'm not just talking about the GPS. You need to manually enter stuff. So for instance, the sub location in this case is Seven Mile Beach. And the city is Shoalhaven Heads. State is New South Wales. And country is, of course, Straya. So we've entered that information. That's all we have to do. The rest of the metadata is going to pull from the actual images themselves. But what we need to do now is sync that information across all the other images. So I'm going to select all these flagged photos and I'm going to click the sync button. Just double check all the boxes are ticked. Yeah, they are. And synchronized. And it's now going to copy those fields over to all the other photos in this catalog. That's the first bit done, adding the extra metadata. Now we can actually fire up the prompt. So again, we're going to select all our flagged photos here, and I'm going to go to File, Plugin Extras, and Prompt. Up comes the prompt, and you can see the various different options that you can use here. And the fields that I'm going to tell the software to use are caption slash IPTC description, the IPTC headline, which is quite a boring headline, incidentally, not at all a creative one, and the title. The two with the AI in them are the title and the caption. So let's go into the caption. I'll show you how it looks. Click on the edit button here. Here is the caption in place. You can see it's quite long, but we want it to do a good job. Uh, incidentally, if you want to tweak this yourself and add other metadata to this so that Gemini can access that information and provide better, get better context and therefore write a better caption, you can insert any metadata you like from here. So, for instance, you know, the bloody altitude or something like that. We're just going to use the one I've got here. So let's just cancel out of that. And then so it's going to say four prompts will be processed, which it means caption, IPTC, headline, title and keywords. So it's going to add all the appropriate keywords and it's going to do it for all of these 34 photos that I have selected. So I'm going to click the process button now and then we'll fast forward and I'll show you what they look like. And we're back. It's now done all the hard work for us and we can see what it looks like. If we come down here, we can see, for instance, for the title of this, we have Golden Winter Grasses, Seven Mile Beach, Shoalhaven Heads, bathe in the soft light of a late afternoon. Pretty brilliant, isn't it? Here's the full caption. Gold now whispers secrets in the Shoalhaven Heads grass. Bit too flowery. Uh, but we'll let it pass. Location the of show even heads Australia. Here's the technical information. So pull that out of the metadata in the image. I did not have to do anything. The AI found that metadata and added this in a lovely little bullet list for me. So you know when people ask you, you know, what your settings were for a photo? No, you don't have to stress about it anymore. We'll do it for you. And I also added post-processing in there. Although it hasn't added the software, I don't quite know why. The soft golden light of the evening winter sun paints delicate blades of grass on Seven Mile Beach, creating a serene and intimate scene. Can't argue with that. The shallow depth of field, thanks mate, beautifully isolates the foreground, drawing the eyes the intricate details of the grasses. I mean, come on, it's brilliant. Got a couple of light emojis in there. This winter evening in Shoalhaven Heads is truly magical. The gentle light and the sway of the grass catches the last rays of sun are simply breathtaking. Okay, a little bit over the top. Call cool action here. Would you like to share your favorite winter evening landscape photos? And here's some keywords added straight into the caption itself. I'm sure we can all agree that is a pretty sweet result and it's done that for all of them. And of course, it's quite specific. So if we click on this one here, 
of this bird, it has not only identified the fact that this bird is identified that it's an egret. I couldn't tell you what this bloody bird is, but the AI has successfully identified it as an egret. All the details in there. Tranquil winter evening light casts a warm glow of the still hairs, the egrets. Elegant posture and reflection in the water create a captivating scene. You know, this is just brilliant, isn't it? Let's have another one. Uh, let's try something completely. What about this wave shot? What did it do for that one? The title we got was Golden Winter Waves Crashing on Seven Mile Beach on the Sunset. Golden hour magic, all the technical details. The evening light paints the crashing waves in a breathtaking display of gold and amber. Composition perfectly captures the power and beauty of the ocean. It's pretty bloody neat, isn't it? I absolutely loathe writing titles and captions for my photographs, and I refuse to believe that anyone does. So this thing is not chef's kiss. But let's say you either don't have Adobe Lightroom Classic or the Enervision plugin, you can still use this prompt in manual mode using pretty much any of the popular AI platforms. This is thanks to the fact that you can now drag photographs into your AI chat window and the AI is able to analyze them. You won't be able to use it on batches of photos and you'll have to manually drop the AI generated titles, captions and keywords into your photos, but it still beats having a write on yourself. So for instance, Here's how I use the prompt with Claude. Now, the only wrinkle with this is that these systems cannot read the metadata in the file. So you have a couple of options, okay? If you can output an XMP sidecar file by saving metadata in something like Lightroom, you can include that with the photo and it will then be able to read the metadata. Or you can do what I've done because the image I was showing was a DNG, which does not have a separate sidecar file. I just took a screenshot of all the metadata in Adobe Lightroom in that side panel. I'll get that up on screen so I can show you what it looks like. Here's the screenshot. So I just literally just did a screen grab of that. And I'm going to grab both of those and drop them in. But we need to give them some instructions first. Please wait for instructions before do anything with them. So I'm going to drag my photos in or the photo and the EXIF data. So here's the information. Claude should come back and say, okay, I'm waiting for you to tell me what to do. I'm gonna grab my prompt, which I've saved in my clipboard here. And I'm just gonna paste that straight in here and set Claude going. And here we go. So there's a nice title. Nature's canvas explodes with vibrant pinks and purples. We have a nice little bullet list. We've got the description, the tranquil waters of the Shoreham River mirror the dramatic sky while ancient paper bark stands sentinel in the foreground. Their weathered branches reaching out over glassy service. And I've got some nice little hashtags. So I can just then copy and paste that whole thing into whatever website or social media service I'm sharing this photo on. As I said, the same process will work with perplexity, Gemini, chat GPT or pretty much any other AI that accepts attachments. There's also no reason why it shouldn't work with an LLM that you're running locally on your machine, as long as it has the ability to analyze attachments. AI is being used in all sorts of ways that diminish human creativity and undermine the skills required to create art, literature, and music. So it's great to be able to leverage its capabilities for something unbelievably boring in order to spend less time in front of a screen and more time out taking photographs. There is undoubtedly room for improvement in my prompt. And if you have tweaked it and are getting better results, then please let me know in the comments section below. And if you got value from this content, please give the video a like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Till the next time, guys. Ta-ta.